love of many is wet and cold, and I adore it all just like I'm chose. The love of many is wet and cold, and I adore it all just like I'm chose. The love of many is wet and cold, and I adore it all just like I'm chose. The love of many is wet and cold, and I adore it all just like I'm chose. The love of many is wet and cold, and I adore it all just like I'm chose. The love of many is wet and cold, and I adore it all just like I'm chose. The love of many is wet and cold, and I adore it all just like I'm chose. The love of many is wet and cold, and I adore it all just like I'm chose. The love of many is wet and cold, and I adore it all just like I'm chose. The love of many is wet and cold, and I adore it all just like I'm chose. And I'm busting down all these strongholds. Wisdom is double, yeah, that's twofold. Thigh raw like a pot of gold, and my flow sick like a common cold. And I'm busting down all these strongholds. Wisdom is double, yeah, that's twofold. Thigh raw like a pot of gold, and my flow sick like a common cold. All right, all right. I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Holy Son. Peace be upon all the beloved ones and all those that are baptized into the Messiah Spirit and uh, drinking the blood of the New Testament for the remission of sins. All right, so today the title is going to be Who is Tammuz? Who is Tammuz, beloveds? Let a beloved know who is Tammuz from your understanding. Right? From your understanding, who is Tammuz? Right? So today, I'm going to be going into what the Spirit revealed to me who Tammuz is. Right? Which I never heard any beloveds bring this information out, so I'm going to bring it out now. So uh, let's get it. Ezekiel chapter 8. Verse 1, and it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me. Then I beheld, and lo, a likeness as the appearance of fire, from the appearance of his loins, even downward fire. And from his loins, even upward, as the appearance of brightness, as the color of amber. And he put forth the form of a hand, and took me by a lock of my head. And the spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven, and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem, to the door of the inner gate that looketh toward the north. Where was the seat? of the image of jealousy which provoketh to jealousy and behold the glory of God of Israel was there according to the vision that I saw in the plain then said he unto me son of man lift up thine eyes now the way toward the north so I lifted up my eyes the way toward the north and behold northward at the gate of the altar this image of jealousy in the entry. And he said, Furthermore unto me, son of man, seest thou what they do, even the great abominations that the house of Israel committed here, that I should go off from my sanctuary? But turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. And he brought me to the door of the court. And when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold the wicked abominations they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping thing, an abominable beast, and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel. And in the midst of them stood Jazaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand. And a thick cloud of incense went up. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? every man in the chambers of his imagery for they say the lord seeth us not the lord hath forsaken the earth he said also unto me 
turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was towards the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. H8542. Tammuz. Tammuz, right? Which it says um, from Brown Driver Briggs Lexicon. Jump to Scripture Index. Strong's H8542. Uh, it says uh, Tammuz. Proper name of a divinity of, the, of a divinity uh, Tammuz. Babylonian uh, uh, Duzu. Also uh, Damuzi. So as we can see, um, Tammuz comes from Babylon, which is Damu, Zed, all right, or Tammuz, which is the same as Tammuz, right? In the uh, Bible, we uh, refer to him as Tammuz, or in the Hebrew, it'll be uh, Tammuz, 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 right? That's Tammuz in the Hebrew, but in Babylon, it's uh, Damoz, uh, Damozi. That's his name, it's Damozid, right? Or Damozi, or Damoz, or Damozid. So that's how they refer to him in Babylon and bring out some information on Tammuz, Damuz, or Damozid. Uh, All right, this is from uh, Wikipedia. It says Damozid, or Damuzi, later known by the alternate form. Tammuz is an ancient Mesopotamian god associated with shepherds who was also the primary consort of the goddess Inanna later known as Ishtar. So that right there show you that Tammuz has a wife, right? I'm showing you who is Tammuz. Tammuz has a wife and his wife is the goddess Inanna, later known as Ishtar, which Inanna is Ishtar. So uh, let's bring out some information on Inanna real quick. It says Inanna is an ancient Mesopotamian goddess associated with love, beauty, sex, war, justice, and political power. She was originally worshipped in summer under the name Inanna and was later worshipped by the Akkadians Babylonians and Assyrians under the name Ishtar. She was known as the Queen of Heaven and was the patron goddess of the Iana Temple at the city of Uruk, which is Babylon, which was her main cult center. Her husband was the god Damuzed, later known as Tammuz. Ancient Mesopotamian clay tablet dating to the Amorite period 2000 through uh, 16,000 BC containing a lamentation over the death of Damuzed, currently held in the uh, Le Bray Museum in Paris. Ancient Sumerian cylinder seal impression showing Damuzed being tortured in the underworld by the Gala demons. Towards the end of the epic poem, Inanna's descent into the underworld, which is Ishtar. Damuzed's wife, Inanna, escapes from the underworld, but is pursued by a horde of Gala demons who insist that someone else must take her place in the underworld. They first come upon Inanna Sukal, Ninshubar, and attempt to take her, but Inanna stops them, insisting that Ninshubar is her loyal servant and that she had rightfully mourned for her while she was in the underworld. They they next come upon Shara, Inanna's beautician, who is still in mourning. The demons attempt to take him, but Inanna insists that they may not, because he had also mourned for her. The third person they come upon is Lulau, who is also in mourning. The demons try to take him, but Inanna stops them once again. Finally, they come upon Damuzed, who is lavishly clothed and resting beneath a tree or sitting on Inanna's throne, entertained by slave girls. Inanna 
displeased, decrees that the demon shall take him using language which echoes the speech Eresh Kigal gave while condemning her. The demons then dragged Damuze down to the underworld. So as you can see, according to uh, their uh, tradition, their god, Damuze, was brought down to the underworld or brought down to hell. And his wife was Ishtar. Since the cult of Ishtar and Tammuz continued to thrive until the 11th century AD and survived in parts of Mesopotamia as late as the 18th century, Tammuz is mentioned by the name in the book of Ezekiel, right? Ezekiel 8, uh, verse 14 through 15. It possibly alluded to in other passages from the Hebrew Bible. In the late 19th and 18th century, scholarship of religion Tammuz was widely seen as a prime example of the archetypal dying and rising God, but the discovery of the full Sumerian text of Inanna's descent in the mid 20th century appeared to disprove the previous scholarly assumptions that the narrative ended with Damuzed's resurrection, instead revealed that it ended with Damuzed's uh, death. However, the rescue of Damuzed from the underworld was later found in the text Return of Damozea, translated in 1963. In the Sumerian poem, The Return of Damozea, which begins where the dream of Damozea ends, Gishtiana laments continually for, for days and nights over Damozea's death, joined by Inanna, who has apparently experienced a change of heart, and Satur, Damozea's mother. The three goddesses mourn continually until a fly. The three goddesses mourn continually until a fly reveals to Inanna the location of her husband. Together, Inanna and Gishtiana go to the place where the fly has told them they will find Damuze. They find him there, and Inanna decrees that from that point onwards. Damuzed will spend half of the year with her sister, Ereshkigal, in the underworld, and the other half of the year in heaven with her, while Gishtiana takes his place in the underworld. So right there, man, it said that a, a fly revealed to Inanna the location of her husband, right? Together, Inanna and Gishtiana go to the place where the fly has told them they will find Damuzed. So it was a fly that revealed to Ishtar Inanna where her husband was. So that shows you who is Damuzed, who is Tammuz, right? We have plenty of clues to show you who he is, right? He went down to hell and his wife is the queen of heaven, Ishtar, and a fly was used to let her know where her husband was. They put the spirit, the spirit on a fly to communicate where her husband was. Now, who is known as the Lord of the Flies in the scriptures? Let's get it. This is Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Let's get Beelzebub in the Greek, okay, which is a uh, Beelzebul or uh, Beelzebub, equals Lord of the House, a name of Satan, the prince of evil spirits, Beelzebub of Chaldee origin, right, just like uh, Tammuz is of Babylonian origin, Damuze, right, Beelzebub. Right now, let's go to Beelzebub. Who is Beelzebub? Right, it says uh, a name of Satan, a prince of evil spirits, dung god, a name of Satan. So this is one of that Satan's name is Beelzebub. Now let's go to um, the Hebrew, which is H one H one thousand one and seventy six. But all the above, but all the says uh but all's above so but is but all's above it equals lord
Lord of the Fly, right? Which was also a Philistine deity worship at Ekron, but all is above. So when you see Beel is above in the New Testament, it comes from but all is above in the Hebrew 1176, which is Lord of the Fly. So Tammuz is but all is above. Tammuz is but all Israel. So Tammuz is Satan. Okay? Which uh, Tammuz, his Babylonian name is Damuze. Right? And Tammuz uh, put the spirit on a fly to let Ishtar know where he was when he was sent to the underworld. So Baal is known, known as the Lord of the Fly and the Messiah acknowledged him as uh, Baal Zebub. So it says Baal Zebub, Lord of the Fly, a Philistine deity worship at Ekron. Right? Baal Zebub. Right? Baal Zebub. Baal of the Fly. Baal Zebub. A special deity of the Ekronites. Baal Zebub. Lord of the Flies. Okay. Let's see. One second. Let me put that up. Okay. Lord of the Flies. Beelzebub. So let's get it in the uh, in the Hebrew, which I believe I already got it. Let me get it again. Right. It says Beelzebub, a name of Satan, the prince of evil spirits. So Satan... One of his name is Baal Zebub. So when you see Baal, that's Satan, dog. Baal Zebub, Lord of the Fly. Remember, Tammuz put the spirit on the fly, so the Queen of Heaven could find uh, uh, Tammuz, man. That's why he's known as the Lord of the Fly, just like Tammuz, right? They used the fly to find Tammuz. Same, same spirit. Because uh, Baal, Baal is worshipped next to Ishtar. So that shows you Baal is Ishtar's husband, and Baal, the queen of heaven, and Baal is uh, Satan. He is Tammuz. Okay? We have uh, 2 Kings chapter 1, verse uh, 1. Then Moab rebelled against Israel after the death of Ahab. And Ahaziah uh, fell down through the lattice in his upper chamber that was in Samaria and was sick. And he sent messengers and said unto them, Go inquire of Baal, Zebub, the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover of the disease. So you had a Samarian northern kingdom Israelite bugging the hell out, asking Satan, is he going to be healed? Which a lot of people do that today, we can't do that. Following Satan to heal you. The Most High got to heal you, man. This guy went, went to Baal's above, the prince of evil spirits, to ask, can he be healed? But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, arise and go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria and say unto them, is it not because there is not a God in Israel that ye go to inquire of Baal's above, the God of Ekron? Now therefore, thus saith the Lord, thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art going up, but shall surely die. See that he was tweaking, man. Wanted to worship Beelzebub. And Elijah departed, and when his, the messengers turned back unto him, he said unto them, Why are ye now turned back? And they said unto him, There came a man up to meet us, and said unto us, Go, turn again unto the king that sent you, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, is it not because there is not a God in Israel that thou sittest to inquire of Baal the God of Ekron? Right? Therefore thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art going up, but shall surely die. And he said unto them, What manner of man was he which came up to meet you and told you these words? And they answered, He was a hairy man. So yeah, man, Elijah rebuked him for worship Beelzebub, man. Okay? He was uh, doing total nonsense, uh, seeking Beelzebub, man. The Lord told him it's a rap for you, you know. So we see uh, Beelzebub is Baal, man. Not, uh, we know Tammuz's wife, I mean, Tammuz's wife is Ishtar. So if Tammuz's wife is Ishtar, we know Tammuz is 
Beelzebub, the Lord of the Fly, the same person that put the spirit on the fly to communicate to uh, with his woman, whatever. So we're going to get Baal and show how Israel being worshipped in Baal or Satan, the prince of evil spirits. Because Baal's above is nothing but Baal, right? Which Baal occurs in 52 verses in the King James uh, verse, right? We have Judges 2 and 13. And they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Asherah. Talking about Israel. They were worshiping Beelzebub and Asherah, the queen of heaven. They were worshiping Tammuz and Ishtar, Ashara, uh, Inanna, okay? Asherah, Easter, Baal. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. He delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them and sold them into the hands of their enemy round about. So we actually went into slavery for worshiping Satan and uh, the queen of heaven, man. So Israel, y'all better flee Baal and uh, Asherah, man. Right? Because a lot of brothers and sisters is uh, still be linked to them and don't even be knowing it. Right? Anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, man. So, but all in uh, Asheroth, man, those are uh, Satan and the demonic queen of heaven. Okay? A satanic she god, a satanic she goddess, man. All right? That's where you get the succubus spirit from. Okay? Ishtar, queen of heaven. Let's get some more but all if we can. If they have a uh, one where he uh, where Ishtar uh, worships at, okay. They serve but all in Ishtarot, okay. Let's get Ishtarot, which is but all's wife, man. Supreme male divinity of the Phoenicians or Canaanites. Right? By Alem, Baal, Phoenician deities. Okay. Uh, it says it was the special name of the god of the Canaanites, Philistines, uh, etc. Equals Babylonian Baal. So, Baal is the Babylonian Baal. Satan, man. Okay. Um, Lord of the Flies. Beelzebub. Okay. So, let's see if I get some more on Asherah. Right, Asherah. Right, Asherah. Equal star. Proper feminine noun with a reference to a deity. False goddesses in the Canaanite religion usually related to fertility cults. Right? The name of a Sidonian deity. Tammuz is Baal, Israel, the Lord of the Flash, Shalom. 